honest. Yeah. I am talking to you, Kamala Harris. I don't have any expectation in your morality. You are part of these institutions. I am not going to ask you for mercy for my people. This is not what I'm asking for. My people are saints. What I'm asking you here is to remember that we will never forget your legacy as Palestinians. You will never forget your legacy of giving Israel $20 billion in genocidal weapons. I just want to remind Camilla Harris that we will not forget. We will not forget and history will not forget. I'm not going to ask for morality for somebody who incarcerated black and brown bodies way before she became a vice president. I'm not going to ask for morality. Camilla Harris, you're not the first black and brown woman who is an oligarch supporting fascism and enabling genocide. And you're not going to be the last one. It's a moral obligation not to vote for Kamala Harris. It's a moral obligation not to vote for the institution of democratic oligarchy and Republican fascism. I am not here. I am not here. I am not here to expect morality from these people. But I'm here to celebrate you and celebrate the resistance across every single form of resistance. Peaceful resistance, militant resistance, all resistance. Long live the Intifada! Long live the Intifada! From the river to the sea! when you're leaving today. One thing. If you continue doing one thing for my people's freedom until you end your life, this is plenty. I know we're out of steam. I know it's been months and months of genocide. But Palestinians have to endure this for 76 years. I'm asking for your patience. I'm asking for your support. I'm asking you to stand up for Palestinians on all forms of resistance. And don't forget, again, resistance is justified when people are 